We have this musical and it's coming from Michael. It's titled The Blessings. Take it away. Be right back. And I won't progress Without your grace, I'll be done great Bless my way, I will not regret I'm a holy guy, I know that's more secret I got good blessing, I be just great Put my eyes on you, I just concentrate Wanna look at me, don't be satisfied Don't want to sing, want to testify And if you do anything, you'll be crucified I don't care whether I'm being fortified And I got no blame, now you cause the fight Yeah, now you cause the fight It's on me, yeah So that my enemies will be scattered That music video sets the tone for the um, musical segment of the program Garden City Rendezvous. So if you're just joining us, this is still Garden City Rendezvous and we have a guest in the house. His stage name is um, Don Wheezy and um, he is an army officer. So join me as I make welcome um, Don Wheezy in the studio here. You're welcome to the program. Uh, thank you very much, Ma. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. All right. Um, let's start this way. Uh, you are an army officer. Yeah. And of course, you're doing music. Of so course. how, what is your, how um, did all this start? Yeah. Your source of inspiration and um, where, can you tell us a brief um, history about your music and how you started okay <laughs> yeah let me say this is from i started getting some inspiration of music since the time that i was in secondary school okay yeah i had a friends which is we used to like gather sing i used to participate i used to participate in the fellowship that is student fellowship so that i used to sing so some people motivate me, ah, you're supposed to like start the record. So from then, I get that inspiration, they inspired me. So I started singing 
since from my secondary school. So after I graduate, if I do, I mean, but still up to now, I never stop. That's where I started getting my inspirations. Okay. Yeah. So now, how do you now marry um, um, doing music and your uh, career as an officer? Well, you know, this life has something we call motivations and zeal. So once you want to achieve something, no need of you to do yourself. You need to work hard over it. Despite the fact that it's not like easy for me, but I still make some chance. Any little chance I have, I use it for music because I get passion for it. Any chance I see, I engage myself with music because that's what gives me joy. And always I used to do it like if I have some more chance, I don't want to studio. So that's how I used to manage. Okay, um, um, now looking at it, obviously it's passion. Yeah. In as much as you're um, working, you still delve into that um, which gives you joy. Now, um, are there challenges, some of the things you face in the course of doing this? And then um, looking at um, the situation today, I, I know that you may have, um, because you're not doing it for money, or you're, are you doing it for money? Or just the passion? Not really. I'm not doing it for money because the music is in me. Okay. So I'm feeling it already. So whenever I, I used to feel it, so I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it because it's my talent. I can say it's a talent. So I'm not doing it for money. Okay. Now that um, we've been experiencing um, you know, unprecedented um, moments now, yeah. how do you cope? You know, the zeal is there, but with the challenges surrounding us, how do you now cope in doing what you love to do? It wasn't easy, like serious. Like sometimes, despite the fight, and there is no, like no opportunity. I don't used to get chance. But like I told you before, I used to like create chance, no matter how. No, I know, I know, yeah. I, I know that, but. Okay, let's let, let, let me ask you this first. Yeah. When did you do your first um okay. yes. My first okay. track. Yeah. Mm, my first track actually since from my secondary school. That's okay. two thousand um fifteen. Okay. That's that time I was in SS three. That's when I started singing. And the one we just watched now you did it when? That's last year August. Okay, since then, have you been planning? Did you write any, or you've been planning to produce anyone? Or that, do you, why, before this um, pandemic we're experiencing now? Yeah, I've write a lot, and I've dropped a lot. I mean, like, I've promoted a lot. In after. recent time? Yes. In recent time, have you dropped any one, yes. like, within this period of this pandemic? Have you dropped any? Yes. Okay. That's, I have dropped, after I've done with these blessings, as last year, I dropped, the next track that I dropped is Mommy's Prayer. Okay. But well, that one is an army store track. Where was that? That's this year, and last month. That's, that's. Wow, so even with everything that is happening, you're still, you're not being deterred no, no, by no. whatever we're experiencing, you're still doing what you love to do best yeah oh uh, so now going back again to challenges yeah. you said and um, when you have little time are there other challenges apart from and um, creating time for yourself to do that financially because producing an album or a track costs so much so how do you do that you are you know i used to like plan for it okay yeah it's, I used to plan, okay, see, 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 this month, this, I, because I know what I used to get, I know my incomes, so I used to plan. So this month, see what I want to do. So for my music career, I used to keep some funds so that I'll support my own music career. That's what I used to do. Despite the fact that yes, there is some financial challenges, but for that, I used to try my best to keep some funds so that I can support my own music career. That's what I used to do. 
Okay. Yeah. So where do you see yourself now in the next, um, let's say, five years? What do you, um, what are you aspiring, and what do you hope to, um, what do you hope your music and um, passion will be like? Well, in the next, even in the next five years, by then I've, I've already become a legend. Okay. Because, I mean, I'm hoping before in the next, I'm hoping before in the next. Like two years to come, I will be a star by God's grace. Wow. I have that passion, I have that belief that I will be a star in the next two years, not five years. Five years is, is far. Then, by then, before that five years, maybe they, they will be hearing me all over. Okay, you know yes. that um, someone out there is watching and will be wanting to be like you. You have talked so much, like. Um, um, you're, you're like a motivator now. So what advice would you give to people out there, those who intend to um, become great through music, you know, and looking at talent hunting, what advice would you give to them? Now, my only advice to them is that they should never get discouraged because every successful man has a story to tell. So they should never like hesitate. They should never like you know sometimes one thing with music. When you are doing music, you will be like doubting. When will I blow? This money that I used to spend, when will I recover the money? So I would like to let them know that it's not at once. You must start from some way. Life is a gradual process. If you start from down, you must surely reach up. There's no way you can start from up. If you start from up, definitely you'll come down. So they should never discourage, despite the challenges. Music has a lot of challenges, so they should never get discouraged. They should keep on chasing their dreams. Okay. I know that it's not easy to be up, to live a, a life of an upcoming. It's not easy. So they should just keep on. They should always mot be. Let them be their self motivators. Wow, thank yeah. you so much for coming on the program, Don Weezy. It's been a wonderful moment. And I'm yeah. sure that God will take you to um, that higher level, your zenith of life in the course of your music and, and, and adventure. And, um, thank you. Yes. Thank you very thank much. So much for coming. Yeah. All right, we've been speaking with Don Weezy, um, an upcoming music artist. And you heard it all from him. He's been faced with so much challenges, but because he's got that passion, he's got that motivation, he's still doing it. Of course, this week's um, episode of the...